Welcome Earth Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message for weekend commencing Friday the 8th of October through to Sunday the 10th of October 2021. The, on the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Earth Signs, let's jump straight in and um, see what your overarching crowning message is for the weekend ahead of us okay your channeled message um earth signs confused me a little bit if i'll be honest with you um and that might be because actually the key thing that came around it is that there's some sort of imbalance so i don't know whether or not you're feeling a little bit confused but um what i was able to kind of piece together was that you're being guided to discover your high your your highest truth so if you're feeling a little bit um unclear about something or feeling unbalanced about something it almost feels as if you're being guided to focus on um having like you know uh clear thoughts or uh calm your thoughts you might have a bit of your you might have a bit of fear of anxiety going on at the moment with regards to a certain situation that's got you feeling unbalanced or confused um and it feels as if this weekend you're being guided almost kind of like to focus on being calm to focus on what you're thinking if if that makes sense and that might be why I felt a little bit confused by receiving that channeled message. So let's let's see what 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 we have um, with regards to your message. See if we can get some more information. Oops. My oh look at that. Oh my gosh. I mean that's too many cards to um flip out, but literally the as I started shuffling, what's come out? Anxiety. Wow, that that's not an that's that's not a coincidence that I don't feel. Um, considering that I was saying that it feels as if many of you might be feeling a bit anxious or fearful about something. Anyway, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does the soulmates of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards them in love? Okay, is that two? Okay, we've got two cards. Okay, so we've got patience and envy. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let me just place those here. So I don't know whether or not you're being guided to be patient with something that is um got you really unbalanced. I'll be honest, I'm feeling it as if this enviness is actually somebody around you. Um earth signs that's being really pay, um that's really envious of you um and you know we saw the anxiety card when all of those cards flipped over i don't know whether or not you're picking up that energy of somebody or some people around you that are quite envious of you and that is what's got you feeling quite anxious or feeling a little bit out of sorts and many of you might not be able to actually place why is it you're feeling that way? Okay. Um, some of you might be feeling envious of um, other people. Um, because I did pick up from your channeled message a little bit of um, like shadow work or a little bit of shadow like energy around you. So, um, yeah. And... <sighs> It's it's confused. It, I feel a little. I must admit, I'm feeling quite confused over your your message, and I and I am beginning to differentiate. It's actually the confusion of you that I'm picking up. So it's either confusion over some sort of shadow as aspect within you um, that you're envious of somebody or people around you, and that's making you feel feeling. Quite feel quite anxious okay and a little bit out of sorts the other the other way that I could read it is that you may have people around you that are feeling quite envious of you and you're picking that up and it's it's manifesting itself within you as as um uh 
uh, a bit of anxiety and that's what's getting you making you feel a little bit out of sorts but many of you may not realize that you're picking up the energy of envious people around you i feel that you're being guided to be patient and i feel that that kind of very much aligns with um your, your spirit team kind of letting you know it's it's important to focus on clear, calm thinking because it almost feels as if it's not your energy that's kind of infiltrating your, your energy space at the moment, if I'm being honest. But let's have a look at your crowning wisdom message. Let's see if we can get um, some more information before I go a little bit deep, deeper into this reading. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please thank you. And so we have um, Yishi Togzal 333. So straight away, um, I'm looking at that as um, one of like the um, uh, like lion, tiger, um, but it, it looks like in the form of a cat. Um, so for many of you, it feels as if that is what's it, I almost feel like strength and courage is coming in here. Strength and courage around whatever it is you're being guided to remain calm or to think calm or or be cautious about or patient about. Um, because it, it almost feels as if it's not your energy um, uh, earth signs uh, that's around you at this time. Um, with this um, Tishi. Uh, Tishi Togzalia, um, Togzal, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this, this card is all about um, a, a supernatural kind of like tiger. I kind of see like a tiger, lion, cat kind of thing. Um, and it's, it's, it's letting you know that you will overcome this obstacle, this obstacle of feeling a little bit out of sorts this weekend. And it could be literally because you're picking up energy of um, uh, people that are envious about you um, or that are envious of you, that are around you. And that's got what, what's making you feel a little bit out of sorts. Um, I feel that with this spiritual tiger or cat or whatever it is, it feels as if you're being guided to know that success of overcoming whatever it's got got you feeling unbalanced is literally Im imminent. But it's it's guiding you to stay on your path. That's that patience coming in. Stay on your path of keeping your vibration up, um, focusing on clear, um, clear, calming thoughts. Um, because it feels as if that's what's going to help you. That's going to allow your spiritual path um, to support you during whatever it is that's going on with you. OK, I feel that you're being guided to live your spiritual beliefs. Seek out support from spiritual people. Um, almost like brokers. It's like you're, you're being guided to be around um, positive people. OK, that will help you. People that you trust. Um, and I feel that your spirit team or your light within you will draw that support in, okay? Um, for many of you, it might actually be quite a, um, a major healing breakthrough that's going through, particularly if you're the one that's feeling envious. Um, if you're the one that's feeling envious, around people that are around you again that's picking up on that kind of shadow self um yeah that shadow self that many of you are being guided to almost kind of embrace acknowledge so that you can balance that out within your energy okay um this um if 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 memory recalls um correctly um this tigress or cat it is known um as like a a, a medicine like a, a a medicine healer a spiritual healer so if tigers or lions um are part of your animal totems or spirit guides or you 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 recall you know you you have an allegiance or an alignment with that, I feel that you're being guided um, to know that you, 
your your bold courageous strength okay those are the things that are coming out um that i'm picking up uh that's that's coming out and it also feels as if whatever it is that is your the challenge okay whether or not it's some shadow work around feeling envious of people or whether or not you're picking up there are people that are envious of you which has got you both both energies have got you out of sorts it feels as if you're being guided to call upon your higher guides your higher spiritual guides um Many of you, they may even come in like your soul tribe, your earth angels, physical people in this uh, in this lifetime. And just know that you have got the strength and the courage to push forward over whatever obstacle uh, that's got you feeling out of sorts, feeling confused. Um, yeah, it's um, wow, really peculiar message um but you know what i'll be honest with you earth signs from the moment i started getting that channeled message for you um i felt that real confusion um and i'm now beginning to understand it, it it's actually part of your message because all of your cards that are coming out is over like something that has really got you unbalanced feeling a bit anxious you i feel that many of you may be picking up envious people around you or for some of you you might be uh dealing with um that envious energy um that you may have for somebody or or, or a situation but be patient be patient um because i feel as if your spirit team are bringing in like reinforcements so stand strong courageous uh, because this obstacle that's got you unbalanced, I feel that that's going to clear out this weekend, okay? Um, peculiar message, but anyhow, uh, Earth Signs, if this message is resonating for you already, uh, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Earth Signs. And also, if you do choose to subscribe, it does enable you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Earth Signs, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome 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 back thank you for all your support and encouragement and donations it's really really appreciated and i really do hope all of you get a useful and meaningful uh message out of um this weekend's readings which seems very very unique to be honest with you um this confusion this unsettling that's going on but anyhow let, let's get into your main message and see how this is uh, relating to to you and your love connection my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of taurus virgo and capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love weekends commencing friday the 8th of october through to sunday the 10th of october 2021 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards Taurus Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you um Earth signs, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle for this reading, if they do jump out on camera, I will call them out for you. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I think there was only one card that jumped out. So uh, let's let's see. Let's see what we have. So first of all, for Tauruses, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, secrets. Interesting. Interesting. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates? Thank you. And now the wheel of fortunes come out um, in reverse. Which is that's interesting. That's possibly why you're feeling um, a little bit out of sorts, Taurus. If you're resonating because there's someone keeping secrets hmm let's let's continue and then we have final card judgment okay reconciliation call to action to bring about peace that's where you're being guided 
I feel Taurus to focus, be patient in the situation um, because it does feel as if calm, calm, collected thinking is what's required. Let's move on to Virgos, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 8th of October through to Sunday the 10th of October 2021. What is their current energy spirit? Thank you. And we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, look at that. So someone's feeling regretful, a bit stabbed in the back. Mm. Confusion confusion my angels and spirit thank you queen of wands king of swords wow so did you cut someone out virgos okay and um, capricorn we've got the moon in reverse my angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you tell me, how does these soulmates of Cap... Thank you. Gosh, and we've got the um, Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, thank you. And then we have got, okay, the Nine of Cups. So, gosh, out of all of the, out of all of the Earth signs, Capricorn, you're looking the most positive at the moment. Um, it looks like you're at the end of the journey of either feeling envious about somebody or a situation or at the end of a journey of um, people feeling envious about you. But you're definitely coming in with your happiness, wish fulfillment. But you know what? Let's um, before I get into it, uh, Earth Signs, if you want to go straight to your respective reading, Please click on to those links down below in the description box. It will take you straight to your reading right now. Um, let's focus on the beautiful energy of our Taurus. Let's see what's going on, Earth Signs, because this whole confusion, unbalanced energy that I'm picking up is definitely being reflected in your readings. OK, so let's start with that uh, Tauruses. OK, so Taurus, for you, we've got the Seven of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse and Judgment. So whoever you're connecting with, um, somebody, I feel as if they're keeping some sort of secret. Um, and it feels as if with that Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, it's almost as if both of you are, there's some sort of chaos. Some sort of chaos or uh, bad karma that's going on. Um a bit of resistance perhaps um but yeah that wheel of fortune in in reverse is what this unbalance is that i definitely picked up on that channeled message now whatever this uh negative kind of karma is it could be that whoever you're connecting with um is keeping some sort of secret um, that they might be envious of you. Or they're keeping some sort of secret that they are aware other people are envious of this connection, which may have created some sort of uh, chaos or bad karma or just like negative energy between you and this person with the amount of swords here i would almost say that you and this person possibly may not be talking because of outside influences that your person i feel is aware that um the only reason why that negativity is around this connection is because um they're envious but it also feels as if um, whatever chaos or, or misfortune or bad luck in this connection that it created, it almost, I mean, look at this, it almost looks as if your person is like looking behind them in terms of, okay, I'm seeing things from a different perspective. 
Now, normally with the Seven of Swords, there's normally three swords that would tell me that this person um, is um, uh, like heartbroken. But notice you've got two swords on the floor and one sword in the hand, which is the three swords that would normally represent heartbreak. Um, that's not that all those swords are not representing that. So it's almost like this person is... Um, it's almost as if, I mean, the four swords reminds me of healing. It's like they're, it's like they're getting a wake up call to recognize that outside influences actually created a lot of chaos between the two of you. For many of you, it may be even silent treatment. This person may have cut you out or, um, they may have pulled back their energy simply because there was this 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 envious energy that was around this connection that really put it out of whack and it feels as if you're being guided to push through taurus um being guided to push through and reach out and reconcile um like a call to action to bring peace to restore this connection because it feels as if your spirit team is almost um, illuminating something to you and your person that outside interference uh, really created some bad karma around, uh, around the two of you. Do you know something? Those of you that... Um, yeah, this feels like not clean hands. Like people around you, like really bad mouthing the two of you or bad mouthing the connection. And that negativity, that low vibrational energy really messed up this connection. I was going to say something else there. They stopped me. It really messed it up. And I feel that you're being guided uh, to see something from a different perspective to heal the connection with Yisha, um, to heal the connection and push forward um, and be patient with the obstacle of whatever this karma is that's been created technically by other people. But it's like your person may have been aware of it or um, they knew other people were getting involved. But they didn't do anything. They didn't say anything. They may have just pulled back their energy. Many of them may have gone into prayer or meditation for transformation around this connection. And that's why I feel that you're being guided to, to be positive, to clear your mind of any negativity because actually it doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. It's... um negativity that's around you and this person let's get some clarifiers but i feel at the heart of it you do want to reconcile with whoever you're connecting with my angels and spirit guides it's like you're discovering the truth you remember that channel's message it's like know your truth speak your truth it's like you're discovering the truth that actually there was outside connection that was really impacting this and believe it or not it was it actually created a, a lot of negative energy between you and your person so whoever you're connecting with um male or female they're coming in as an empress energy this person is very um spiritual very very grounded very very nurturing very connected with divine spirit universe it almost feels as if they kept the secret that they knew that these these is like outsized forces that was affecting this connection and that's why they may have got into prayer or focused on their spiritual um like meditation or prayer or fasting to transform it because it was something that um how can i put this it wasn't to the naked, naked human eye. If you're quite spiritual, you would have picked up the negative energy. And I feel that this person did. I also feel that this person, you, you actually think the world of them. You may have seen them as, as marriage material, long term commitment, somebody that you want to build a future with, have a family with. But this negative energy that was around you both really messed it all up. 
Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of Tor Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Male or female, I feel as if um, this person saw you as somebody um, that is their divine counterpart, basically. Even though this is the king of coins and the empress, both of them represent two people that are ready to settle down, ready for marriage, um, ready to build a future, not into no wishy-washy kind of relationship, one night stands or anything. No, 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 no. Uh, it feels as if this person saw you as their divine counterpart. Somebody that was solid, somebody that was grounded or somebody is, I should say. I don't know why I'm talking about you as if you're in past tense, um, Tauruses. But it does feel as if this person saw you as somebody solid, grounded, a bit slow to action. But it feels as if they kind of kept a secret that the reason why you may have been slow to action is, like I said, like dirty hands. Um, people not wishing good on you both. Jealous, envious of this connection. And that's why if they retreated or they pulled back, they were being patient. Like almost pulling in. Like I remember I said, it's like pulling in divine spirit universe, pulling in reinforcements, spiritual reinforcements to fight off this negative energy. Oh, gosh. Oh, can feel that negativity in my days. Yeah, look at that. What did I just say? They walked away. They walked, they bloody walked away. Because it almost feels as if I've got, li I've literally got goosebumps coming d down my body. It's almost as if they knew that whatever was interfering this connection with you, Tauruses, I don't know if I called you Scorpio earlier. I don't know why Scorpio's in my mind. You could be connecting with the Scorpio. Uh, it's it's come out of my mouth. So you could be connected with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. There's no card indicating that, but intuitively that's what's popping into my third eye. But it feels as if this person, whoever they are, they knew that whatever this negativity was around the two of you, that they couldn't, they couldn't fight it in a 3D way. Like they couldn't face off with these people or they couldn't face off with the energy or they they it was it was it was almost you know they say it it was a spiritual battle a spiritual battle that they couldn't see and they couldn't fight but they knew it was it's like the relationship was under attack because of people's jealousy and envious of the connection between the two of you you know something it's 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 true what they say sometimes um people could be around you and they can smile and they can joke and they can laugh um and um what you may not realize is that they have a lot of jealousy a lot of jealousy and a lot of negativity and it's like the more that you're around these people, the more that your spirit feels a little bit unsettled. It's because they're basically, their karma, their energy is not good. But yet on the surface, on the 3D, they will chat to you, smile to you like they're your best friend. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up. And it feels as if whoever you're connecting with, they knew that and they knew for the purpose of how can i put it for the highest good of this relationship they needed to walk away let's continue oh my god what's this do you know what and you could not stop thinking about this person many of you may have suspected there was a little bit more than meet the eye of this person pulling back their energy or walking away I feel that this person, you didn't want to let them go. You're thinking about, you've been thinking about them a lot. But look at that. Um, but you didn't do anything. 
because it was a little it, whatever it was it was too burdensome it was quite burdensome that this person walked away or pulled back their energy but they'd done it for a reason uh Taurus is it's like there was a spiritual battle that was going on between you and between your connection with this person and outside people that were very jealous of it basically but now you're being guided with that hangman to come out of that stagnant still energy and call to action to reconcile to uh, restore this connection put down the burden i feel like i need to pull a bit more card this is deep um taurus this is a deep 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 um reading it's a heavy reading my angels and spirit guides of thank you are oh, beautiful thank you father look at that the world card um so this is divine inter intervention coming in to bring about change okay the cycle of whatever was interfering with you and this person is closing it's closing. That's why it's safe for you to reconcile, to bring about peace and restore this connection. And one more. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And they've given me two more. Look at that. I feel whoever you're connect. Look at that. The King of Pentacles. I Whether you're male or female, I feel as if um, this is your energy, which tells me whatever was negative, because this person sees you as the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is coming in in the centre of the reading. So that tells me it was you, um, uh, Tau uh, Tauruses, that had negative people around you. If this person, um, which I'm picking up is somebody that's very, very spiritual, if they went into prayer and fasting or deep meditation to seek guidance, to fight the spiritual battle they couldn't see, they couldn't fight on the 3D, this person, it almost feels as if they were sending out a vibration of protective light around you. Notice the, uh, the sun around the head here. It's almost as if they were covering you, covering you with protection, with healing to dispel the negativity. And look, there comes the Ten of Cups. To bring in your happiness with this person. Wow. And I feel that this person is your Tenth Cup. You do see them as your Tenth Cup. And that's why it was very, very burdensome when they walked away but it felt as if they needed to because they were picking up there was a lot of negativity uh, a lot of negative people around you that were actually very very jealous of this connection and it's like they had to go into retreat to go into prayer to go into deep meditation to clear out that energy thank you look at that yeah it took them a lot of strength and courage to do that there we go. Yishi coming out there. They were, they are that Yishi, that this person, whoever you're connecting with Taurus is, uh, I feel very, 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 very spiritual. Like they are like, yeah, look at that. Queen, queen of, um, well, it did come out in reverse. Queen of um, Pentacles, your divine counterpart, or they saw your, themselves as your divine counterpart. But it's, look at them in reverse. It was it, they they it, it blocked. It was blocked. This person pulled away, and it t had to take them a lot of strength and courage. But they knew pulling away, walking away from this connection, that was the only way it was going to create some sort of change. Because I feel as if they needed to go into like deep spiritual cleansing or something almost covering you with that um, light of protection. Wow. Deep. You also could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart, Tauruses. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides, of the thank you. Yeah, look at that. Intuitive. This person's a healer. They are a light worker or a healer, extremely intuitive. They knew that there were people around you that were really, really negative, really, really je jealous. And they really, I mean, they could have been smiling with you on a daily basis. 
Um, and actually, it's almost like the proverbial knife. They were literally just stabbing you in the back. Nothing but negative, horrible, horrible, horrible energy. Like, really horrible energy. And it almost feels as if you're this person that you're connecting with was uh, covering you with light of protection. Being the strength for the two of you. But it also took a lot of strength and courage for them to walk away, to pull back their energy. But they knew that they needed to in order to evoke change. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify how does the soulmate of Taurus... Sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Weekends commencing Friday the 8th of October through to Sunday the 10th of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally? Thank you. And here they are. That's their energy. I feel, again, male or female, it feels as if... I feel like this is very much for Taurus men, um, but it, do, it doesn't really matter. I feel as if you see this person as somebody that is extremely uh, uh, spiritual, um, somebody very grounded, somebody very, very attractive, somebody that has created a very comfortable environment for themselves. Oh, wow, look at that. And the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune balances out and it's because of them and the work that they were doing spiritually to almost remove those negative people around you. And so therefore the 10 cups, the happiness, the wish fulfillment that you see with this person, the Wheel of Fortune is now turning in your favour. Gee whiz. This person done a lot of spiritual work on your behalf. And look, and I feel as if um, this is their energy, again, male or female. Now they're taking action or actually it could be you. You're being guided now to take action because the wheel of fortune is now turning in your favour. Your happiness, your wish fulfilment, time to put down that burden, come out of that stagnant position Take action and restore this connection. Wow. Wow. Amazing. All right, let's have a look at your... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but um, this person's very spiritual, uh, Tauruses, whoever they are. So your first advice is seek to enlarge your appreciation of the beauty of nature animals and humans so i feel that you're being guided to continue with that positive thinking remember what i was saying in the channel's message um to um uh, focus on clear calm thinking it's going to help you discover the truth by connecting with nature by connecting with divine spirit universe your higher self mother earth um connecting with all around you remember i said if you're connecting with um tigers or cats or lions as like animal totems or spirit guides um connect and appreciate the beauty um, of every living thing it's going to help you give you it's going to help you see the truth over this situation with you you and the person that you're connecting with um to see things from a different perspective in a calm and collective way and then we've got know thyself it is the most important task you have so it feels as if you're being guided um, to know if you felt really unbalanced, a little bit out of sorts, your energy or your spirit just wasn't, um, you know, um, how can I put uh, For me personally, if I'm around people that are uh, a low vibration, my spirit literally, I can feel my spirit jumping inside me. For many of you, that might be quite similar. So it feels as if you're being guided to know yourself, know yourself, um, focus on clear thinking, calm, clear thinking to discover the truth about certain people that are around you that could be like, you know, um, sheep in whatever they call it in 
sheep's clothing or whatever they say you know they come to you like they're your friends like you know they they have got your best interests at heart but actually they they haven't got they haven't got a good thing to think about you to say about you and nothing there's nothing good about them at all it's like you're being guided to pay attention to what your inner self is telling you and then we have you feel your innate sense of truth develop open mindedness oh my god what did i what was i just saying it's like you're being discovered dis discover your higher truth by connecting with yourself to do that you need to connect with divine spirit universe nature have an appreciation for every living thing feel that sense of what your spirit your soul is telling you know thyself know your truth discover the higher truth of yourself and as you do that i feel as if it will illuminate um those people around you that just just honestly taurus aren't their vibration is just not nice um it's like you're being guided to discover that and as you do that you you may might need to be patient and 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 know that you have the strength and the courage to get rid of those obstacles and as you do that in conjunction with the person that you're connecting with who i feel already saw this a mile away they could be quite empathic or intuitive or be somebody like a seer like they could see ahead of time and that they knew that this was around you but they couldn't tell you about it it's something that you need to discover yourself many of you might discover that this weekend and that is why the two of you were not balanced not together um disaligned wow okay i'm gonna leave that there for you tauruses if it does resonate please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time my beautiful beautiful tauruses i really hope the week ahead um gives us a bit more um enlightenment um over this reading i hope i pick up your the, the same energies um to get a bit more clarity um but until next time uh i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light and an extra portion of healing so you can see clearly around all this negative energy that's around you all right let's move on to our beautiful virgos now okay so virgos so Virgos, for you, we have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. So what I am picking up, uh, Virgos, it feels as if male or female, you cut this person out um, and it feels as if they uh, were confused, um, maybe regretful over past conversations. And I do feel that this energy, the Queen of Wands, again, male or female, that they want to take um, action to towards you but their back is slightly um uh, uh towards you so it feels as if they're a little bit uncertain so it possibly is because this person is feeling a little bit out of sorts if the two of you were in some sort of silent treatment it may have been because um there were people that were envious around the two of you um that either um either influenced you in some shape form or another to cut this person out or it um it influenced this person to go into some sort of silent treatment but it feels as if more like you cutting them out they felt a little bit stabbed in the back and i feel as if they they want to take some action towards you they want to but they're hesitating they're hesitating let me get some more uh let's get some clarifiers for this because um i feel as if yeah you cut them out for a reason thank you oh wow let me just see because that those came out i'm not sure if there was something else that flipped i don't let me see quickly i don't think there was okay all right so i feel okay so this person Okay, so I feel as if this is external conflict that basically got involved. So it feels as if whoever this person is, which I feel as if it's your person, somebody that's very action orientated, somebody that's very spiritual, um, free spirited, independent, um, definitely a fire sign, 
Aries, um, Sagittarius or a Leo, okay, um, they may have realized um, that there were people uh, either around you that influenced you to cut them out, okay, but they, it almost feels as if they realized that there were people around you that were quite envious of this connection. Um, whatever they done, whether or not they felt stabbed in the back because you cut them out, it feels as if they're coming out victorious now. It feels as if this person, it's taken them a lot of strength and courage, maybe to um, keep their vibration up in terms of being positive, trying to um, be calm um, over this confusion or maybe silent treatment, feeling stabbed in the back. It almost feels as if this person has really, really tried um, to keep their calm and cool. Um, and I feel that many of them may have been patient by perhaps going in to either uh, prayer and fasting or meditation uh, to know when it's the right time to take action towards you but i feel that they do know in this time of separation they do know that you're the one for them okay um and it may be that they have may have had other people that were interested in them um, and actually you may have known them and without you really realizing, um, they were jealous of this connection. Uh, I feel that this person sees you um, as somebody that um, their ultimate soulmate, a very deep soulmate. The Six of Cups is somebody uh, that you have lived many, many lives with. This is how this person visualizes you. I feel that there is that deep soul connection, but also they are missing you tremendously. And I feel that you are, well, actually, it might be you receiving conversation from them. Remember, I said they want to take action towards you uh, and their back has been uh, towards you. Um, their back at the moment is towards you. I feel that that's changing. They're coming in with communication and I feel that you want that communication. I feel that you're keeping some sort of secret and that you were heartbroken. You were heartbroken um, to cut out this person. Yeah, look, this person came in and they offered you a cup of love at one point and you turned them down. You rejected it. You cut it out. But it feels as if um, you were heartbroken to do that. But this person is coming in. Um, coming in with communication quite swiftly. Many of you might be unexpected. It's because they miss you. They know that you are the one for them. But I also feel that they also knew or pick up that whatever reason you cut them out, because it broke your heart to cut them out. And that is a secret that you're, you're not telling anybody. You are deeply, deeply upset that you rejected uh, this connection and for many of you it feels as if there were outside influences outside conflict that actually may have influenced um you know they put in their pennies worth or something and it's because they were jealous of this connection they might have had a bit of a thing for your person but they didn't tell you that I feel as if um, this weekend uh, you're being guided as they come in with this communication to um, have that focus on um, clear thinking, calm thinking. Try and put the past behind you. But I also feel as well from your channeled message, uh, Virgos, that you're being guided to discover the truth of how you feel. Discover the truth of who are those people that influenced you to cut out this person? There might have been people that actually blatantly told you, don't even go there with this person. Unfortunately, it feels as if you listen to that. And that's why you're being guided, I feel. And it brought nothing but heartache to you. So it feels as if whoever was interfering with this connection, it was, it was coming from a place of envy. That's the shadow that I saw, the shadow aspect that I saw in the channeled message. It's neither you or this person. It's people I feel that were around you. That This person, um, I feel that they know them. 
they know them and that's why they felt very stabbed in the back by you or very stabbed in the back by them if you can imagine like the two of you may move in the same circles have the same kind of um either colleagues or friends or move in the same circles in some shape form or another so you know the same people it almost feels as if they felt stabbed in the back by these people because they were perhaps bad mouthing um them to you which unfortunately like i said it feels as if you it, it you listen to it and for whatever reason you cut them out but what you're not telling anybody is that it actually broke your heart to do that it broke your heart to reject their cup of love their offer of getting to know you of you know seeing where things go and they miss you and the reason why they miss you so 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 much i suppose really is because the two of you have lived many many lives but know that you have both of you have got the strength and the courage um to uh, move forward and get rid of the obstacles of these other people um around both of you but it needs to be a conscious effort i feel um virgos and be patient with it and i feel as you do that and you keep your mind calm and clear and focus on that rather than deceit feeling as if maybe you may even have felt stabbed in the back by these people um if you can clear out that energy i feel as if your spirit team are bringing in reinforcements to help you and this person uh, see the truth of what was behind silent treatment behind you cutting them out behind you rejecting this cup of love Oh, wow. And no, look at that. Know that truth is a living force, whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. And you know what that truth is? That is divine spirit universe, um, your higher self um, coming in with the truth. The truth is a living force. Nothing can, um, you know, with all the nonsense in the world um you know good bad and the ugly the truth will always prevail and that is something that is a living energy okay um in in my belief so is divine spirit our higher selves it's a living force that guides us helps us evolves us tries to teach us and it feels as if your spirit teams on both sides are bringing in reinforcements to heal like medicine heal this connection illuminate both of you that it was due to outside forces that were envious of this connection and many of you may not want to believe it and i feel that you're being guided to discover that truth that the truth will always prevail the two of you might even talk about it you know about these people that created a lot of external conflict between the two of you that actually resulted in some sort of breakup certainly you cutting them out them feeling very very confused unsure what the heck happened and then we've got distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success yeah so it feels as if you're being guided um to distinguish um that inner in a spiritual work, even though on the surface you cut this person out, you rejected them, deep down inside you were heartbroken. And that's a secret, it feels as if, Virgos, that you've kept to yourself. And for many of you in this period of like not being together or not speaking, um, it almost feels as if you've kind of come to terms with it or you're healing from that, um, almost speaking truth to yourself. Look at that, speaking truth. The truth of the matter is that two of you have lived many lives together with that six of cups. And even though you may have felt drawn to this person, outside influences, negative talk, gossip, maybe even um, for whatever reason, you cut out this person. And it feels as if you may have had a bit of regret from that. Just know that you will get over that obstacle. Be patient with yourself. Focus on positive thinking. I know it is a cliche, but what you think is going to um, either buckle up, buckle or block or delay this connection. 
or it will uh, speed up the process. Know that you've got the strength and courage, I feel, um, to, to speed it up, okay, and resolve it. Because this person's coming, uh, feeling very victorious. Because they've got it. I feel like they've, they, they've, they've discovered the truth of what really went down between the two of you. Hence why they are not hesitating to come in to um, communicate where they haven't before. Now they're taking action to communicate. It wouldn't surprise me if they, they speak to you about these people. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your final advice? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love. For, for weekend, oh, there we go. Remind yourself that you're a, you're a soul-spirited being, absolutely. And one of the water signs got that, actually. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But... What I got from this or, or what I pick up from that card, remind yourself that you are a soul spirited being. It's almost it's like recognizing that, you know, when you pass over um, to your next life, all you have really are the memories that you create with your soulmates and whoever you are connecting with is a deep soulmate and you've lived many 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 lives with this person and i feel that you have the power within you if you can find that strength and courage to move forward see the truth in the situation um, around outside influences but also to see the truth that you have the opportunity to resolve whatever interfered with this connection and to create um, some beautiful memories that you can um, carry with you in the next lifetime um, because that is part of your spiritual growth, your spiritual evolution. And just remember, I suppose, really, that we're all human beings having a spiritual experience. OK, so it's important to create really beautiful memories that our soul can carry in the next lifetime. OK, Virgos, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to the beautiful Capricorns now. OK, so Capricorns, for you, we have the moon in reverse the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Cups. Now, whatever is going on with the person that you're connecting with, I feel as if they didn't, they stopped taking action towards you, all right? They may have been a little bit half in, half out and not a little, not sure um, whether or not um, to come towards you, to pursue you. Um, they may have been a little bit pessimistic. Um, but these two cards, the Moon and the Knight of um, Wands, both represent frustration. Um, the Knight of Wands um, also represents a little bit of anger as well. So you may have been angry or upset or frustrated because this person was actually your wish fulfillment, your happiness, somebody that you saw happiness with, okay? Um, but it feels as if either they pulled back their energy, they stopped taking action towards you. And I feel that many of you may have been quite angry about that, frustrated, but they may have pulled back their energy because they were quite pessimistic or they had people around them that were quite pessimistic that almost played with their um, emotions like emotional manipulation, um, really getting into their head. Um, and it, it simply because they were jealous, they were jealous of this connection. You also could be dealing with the Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. That envy card is just such a, yeah, it, people were envious. Okay, okay, uh, all right. P th whoever you're connecting with, uh, Capricorns, uh, this person, I would say that they're quite a hard worker. Um, I would also say that they um, have quite a bit of money, all right? Um, 
and they may have pulled back their energy because there were people around the two of you that were envious of this connection. Um, and just got involved in it, to be honest with you. Let's continue. But they certainly at one point felt felt a bit unbalanced, a bit pessimistic, not sure, not sure with you. They may have also put a lot of work into this connection, hence why they were frustrated. Did you pull back your energy? Let me let me see here. Oh, look at that, this, the eight and the seven. So it feels as if this person put a lot of work into this connection and they kind of waited. They waited for you to kind of take action and you didn't. But what they may not realise is that um, you uh, actually saw this person as your happiness, wish fulfilment. With the five of swords, I feel that they were quite heartbroken. Quite heartbroken between conversations between the two of you. Um... They want to put it behind them now. It feels as if they were waiting for you to make some sort of action. You may also have been a little bit in and out, not sure, a bit pessimistic. But it feels as if um, they were very frustrated, very angry that you didn't take the steps to put in the work. And look at that. You disconnected from this person. And I feel that you're upset with yourself for doing that. Feeling disconnected, but also in this period of disconnect, I feel that you've 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 healed your thinking, or you're seeing the true picture. Remember the channel's message: focus on like like discovering your truth with a calm, collective, positive mindset. Because if you had people that were around you that were envious of this connection, they got in your head as well. So it feels as if, um, yeah, one of you or both of you may have just parted ways. And this person, they put a lot of work and effort into it. They were waiting for you to reciprocate and you didn't. They may have even watched you walk away and it broke their heart. And I feel that you, this is, this is healing. You felt disconnected, missing them. With the three of wands, I feel that you were waiting, waiting for the right opportunity to approach this person, which for many of you could be this weekend. You were also heartbroken as well over this disconnection between the two of you. Uh, many of you um, are coming out of healing now, coming out of healing, finding the strength and the courage, okay, the strength and the courage to put this all behind you. All right. Put it all behind you. Um, yeah, many of you might be feeling a little, little bit pessimistic whether or not this person will even entertain you now. But you're waiting. You're waiting to see how things will pan out. Let me pull a few more cards for you. Because it feels a little bit... I need more info. My ain't thank you. All oh, right, okay. So um, I feel that this person uh, with the emperor, I feel as if this person um, either may have been a little bit controlling or they want to take control of the situation now and put any kind of negativity, any kind of poor communication behind them. Could also be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. Let's continue. But this person is your your happiness. And I feel that um, for whatever reason, you didn't put, they were waiting for you to put in the effort and you didn't. And they may have walked away or they saw you walk away, which created a real disconnect, but it triggered healing for you to discover the truth. And the truth is that this person was is your wish fulfillment. They may also see you as uh, their wish fulfillment as well, um, uh, Capricorns. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Wands, burden. You were burdened by whoever walked away from this connection. Uh, many of you may have actually felt a bit angry, frustrated, but it triggered some sort of healing. Both of you were heartbroken. 
over the disconnect, missing each other, missing each other, wanting to heal this connection. Do you know something? Either one of you were envious of the other, and that might have been the shadow self. Like maybe you felt that you, like this person's evidently got a lot of money. Um, you may have felt that um, that there was a bit of lack on your side and that was quite burdensome for you even though this person was happy made made you was your happiness yeah look at that a tower moment happened between the two of you a tower moment happens and i feel that this person is trying to take control of their emotions to put behind any kind of silent treatment poor communication heartache And pessimism, because this is all about pessimism, pessimistic kind of thoughts as to why you never reciprocated the amount of nurturing that they put into this connection. Thank you. Oh, there we go. You cut them out. I knew it had to be one of you. They saw you as cutting them out and it broke your heart to do so. It created a disconnect, but it also feels that the two of you went through a lot of healing as well. It was really burdensome for you to cut this person out because it feels as if they were your wish fulfillment. But it could have been people that were outside influences um, that um, were envious of this connection. It feels as if this weekend, Capricorn, you're going to discover the truth of that. Hence why you're going to want to fight for this connection now after cutting them out Whoop. and then thank you and then look at that third parties people around you Capricorn were envious of this connection and it feels as if uh, they got involved they got in your head in some shape form or another that almost um, led you to cut this person out I feel many of you that was it burdened you because it wasn't what you really wanted to do. And it feels as if now you're waiting for the right opportunity to come together, fight for this connection, be around this person and celebrate, celebrate this connection. That's what you want to do. Yeah, look at that. You want to come in and you want to clear something up with this person. And it's because you've gone through major healing, victory over healing. Seeing the truth in something. So there were people around you, Capricorn, that were envious um, of this connection. And I feel that this person was really frustrated as to why you cut them out. They just want to put it all behind them now. They kind of want to take control of the situation, put it all behind them. You want to fight for this connection. You're seeing the truth that third people, like third energies got involved influenced you it almost feels as if you didn't even realize it was happening but it triggered you cutting this person out it it broke your heart you want to fight for this clear something up um uh, you also could be dealing with a cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart but it feels as if the two of you might be in different locations um or your your mindsets you you were, were definitely separate separated either spiritually you became very separate or like li literally physically you're in separate locations, different backgrounds, different values, different belief systems. And I feel that many of you now want to charge in, clear something up, be around this person, celebrate this connection and fight for it. Because it's like you cut out this person and it wasn't what you really wanted to do. Wow. All because of influences negative influences know that you've got the strength and the courage to fight for it then we've um your advice it says always look for the good even in the most difficult situations so yeah you may have cut this person out okay um or you know what some for some of you uh, this person may have cut you out uh, but i feel that you're being guided to take the action to clear something up um 
because the truth of the matter is is this person is uh, your 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 wish fulfillment your happiness and even though it may be really difficult, it feels as if your spirit team are going to bring in reinforcements to heal this connection. The five of coins and that chariot, that's deep healing that's gone on. So you're being guided to look for the good in the situation. Try to get out of that pessimistic energy. Master the step you are on. Yeah. So I feel many of you, you may be spiritual healers yourself. So you do have the power to heal this connection. You've just got to see the good in it, believe it, breathe it, believe it, embrace it. And then it says, practice speaking positively about other people and events, especially the future. So if you guys do um, discover uh, this weekend that actually people that you thought were giving you good advice were actually operating from a place of um envy and jealousy okay i feel that you're being guided to put down that burden first um and almost kind of um be positive be positive around them keep your vibration up get rid of any kind of negative thinking like i said in your channeled message stay calm and collected with what you're thinking and what you're saying and also at the same time put down the burden of perhaps cutting out this person or if they cut you out and move forward uh clearing any pessimistic energy master the healing that you've gone through um focus on celebrating this connection rather than what has gone on in the past of outside um, envious influences um, or whether you cut out this person or they cut you out. It's like it's time to put it all behind you now. Master the step of healing because many of you have gone went through some deep healing because you were really hurt, really, really hurt over cutting out this person or them cutting you out. All right. OK, Capricorns, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, um, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.